I, I, I don't get it. Why are there two? two of them? Oh god, hey, you see this guy over here? Yeah, man, what the hell is he doing unconscious? He doesn't look too good. Yeah, man. I don't know, that was just... Can you see those tentacles? That's the All thing over. I was thinking of. <laughs> that's, that's why I thought about actually adding in, just like voices. Hey, you see this guy? Yeah, he's not looking too good. You gotta go see a well, doctor. Well, did you see those tentacles? Man, they attacked him ferociously. Oh, he said that he'd be surrounded by big black spirits. <laughs> now that I think about it, I should have added in that, that clip. It would have been funny. Terrible people. Yeah. Just a little bit. Um. Yeah. Uh. You're getting the clue for uh, well, the riddle for number three. Guess what? The next two parts will not be me going after number three. Because what will my, it be? Because my dumbass got lost. So as a result, <laughs> you guys get a filler part. It's not necessarily filler because what happens is I end up hunting down uh, fruit and lizard. Why are there two of them now? Stay away from my woman. She ain't dead yet. Well, she is dead, but she ain't alive yet. Her soul can still be retrieved. She ain't dead yet. Yeah! Yeah! Souls don't mean anything when it comes to alive or dead. Why is her body still not decayed yet? It's been that, like... That, I, I can't explain that one. That one... Just, just nod your head and say yes. They can't see me nod my head. Yeah! Yeah! Then just say yes. No. <laughs> I'm not going to question it. Instead, I'm just going to head out. Now, the thing is, is that number three is located in uh, section E2 of the map. Uh, fifth column to the right, uh, second column up. Oh. What? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, because you usually it's read from like uh, a chest. You usually read from X axis to Y axis. Yeah, it's made out like a chest. And I had to say X axis and Y axis. Yeah. Well, axes. Yeah. Well, if I'm referring to, uh, you know, to, uh, the axes in general, then yeah, but, you know, x-axis and y-axis, I mean, those are singular entities in and of themselves. True. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, as you can see, there was yeah. a, another, uh, thing crawling yeah. on the ground, I think it was a lizard. You have regular lizards as well. Yeah, and those even regular lizards are just, just there to piss you off, like, oh, let's all, you know. Yeah, you can usually tell because they shine. Uh, if they have a silver tail. Speaking of, check out this pro move right here. Ooh, yeah. Yep. Uh, you got you. Sometime this LP, you gotta try the temple to aggro jump. Uh, I'll see about it, but I have to explore uh, first. You know, uh, you know, just mess around on my complete file, see what else I can find. Now, um. I'm only showing off the first hunt. Uh, everything else will, uh, all future lizard hunts will actually be edited so that you see where I am, where I'm doing it, and then I'll just show you the kill or the collection. But basically, you can hop up on here and actually get a good view of the area. And this is where you do the, the temple to aggro jump. What the temple to aggro jump is, you stand on top of this, uh, top of the safe temples. You jump off and try it and land on aggro. Ah. Oh, I probably could have pulled that off uh, during this whole montage. <laughs> but look at aggro walking away. Come back here, bitch. <laughs> he's like, man, I don't even know what the hell he's doing. I'm just come over here and just eat this grass. No. Uh, you could see uh, these pillars of light in the sky. Those are represented by each uh, each of the colossi that you kill. All right, there we go. There's the arrow. There it is. And sometimes a single arrow doesn't kill them. And that's just add insurance and payback because you made me take so long. Seriously, I did like three or four videos of this and just added them all together. 
Trying to well, remember. at least now, since it's just filler, I can talk about what I wanted to talk about before. Yep. It's like, me playing through this game, uh, there are many yeah. times that I don't, I lost count. Yeah. I since this game leaves so much to be to the player's imagination. Yeah. I've thought of many different yeah. scenarios of like a prequel of how um, yeah. Mono died or sacrificed, as the story says. <laughs> how Wander got the sword, and also how he discovered that Dorman can bring him bring her back to life. Yeah. And also, I thought of a sequel as well that excluding Ico because Ico is like a sequel that took that takes place like years yeah. after Shadow of the Colossus. I'm talking about like a sequel that happened right afterwards. Yeah, because you do kind of would like to fill in the blanks. Yeah, so what I what my idea was for a sequel was that since Mono found the Spoilers, sorry. Lizard. But since she found that, she raised him to basically be a new person. And with the help of, like, well, with able for Echo to ride around, she took she took to many different spots to gather fruit for his for him to eat. And then since there's water for water and drink so he could grow up to be but don't worry different. about it I'll censor it yeah but different and then basically have having oh and Mono basically take apart these structures and re um, build a new bridge so they can get out Big bridge, though. Yeah, but hey, they had to grow up. They had to make before they started building, so it had to take a while. Some people are probably wondering, well, why are you even showing this? I mean, couldn't you just skip to the fight, or couldn't you just reload? I thought about reloading, but I already found the one lizard, so I was like, you know what, screw it. I'm just going to show this off. Yeah. And save time, get it out of the way now. And you're still looking for the class. <laughs> well, basically, I forgot the path because I started memorizing some of the other ones. Like, to get to number six. Number six is kind of out of the way. Yeah. Yeah. Run right into a wall. Yeah. At this point, I'm getting kind of frustrated. I mean, because I played this straight in a row after after dealing with the first fight, so I'm noticeably upset and tired. You need to stop recording while you're tired. Well, I wasn't, you know, sleepy tired. I was just, you know, frustrated. Uh, you can get tired just by being stressed. Oh, yeah, you got me there. I don't know, but it was uh, early in the morning. I even actually put this up here. Although, all I had to do was just reload and start over. During one of my, during one of my save breaks, I actually did pull up uh, information on where in the hell to find him. Because number three is located in the middle of a lake. Yeah, that one was a bitch to find. It wasn't hard the first time, I think, but, you know, still, you know, it was trying to fight him that was actually kind of difficult because I forgot how to do it. This is not where you need to go. You're going to see me check the map a lot. Yeah! Because maps are your friend. I can't help yeah. but think of, uh... Yeah. The Super Gaming Brothers Arkham Asylum Let's Play. <laughs> really, you do know how to read a map, don't you, Detective? Here comes the, the comeback. You do know how to suck a dick, don't you, Riddler? Do I? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I remember that. Uh. 
So, you know, while we're on that subject, in terms of comparison, you're the Matt to my Johnny. Yeah, I mean, it just works that way. I mean, I, that's how I see it. I mean, yeah, I can be witty at times, but I tend to be the more straight-laced and informative one uh, with a few snide remarks every now and again. I'm the witty guy. And, of course, Scruffy is the Elliot. Yeah, it sounds about me. <laughs> the one doing like this. Uh, nah, but I do like Elliot. Yeah, I mean, Elliot's come a long way. Uh, I mean, you know. He's better than he used to be, that's all I can Seriously, say. I mean, he's still having trouble explaining things, but, you know, he's getting yeah. there, though. Like Scruffy. Yeah, I mean, Scruffy has actually come a long way since he met us. Because yeah. he's had our help. Yeah, we've been so casual and we managed to break him out of his shell. And this is not where I need to go. This is actually more towards number six. Yeah, I was about to say, where the hell are you going? When uh, you said you got lost, you weren't kidding. That's the first time I've fucked up a jump on, on that, too. There we go. Come lizard, on. lizard, the lizard, kill it with fire! If only I had fire arrows. He's taking a explosive Yeah, it would be nice. Boom! Blow yourself up in the process. Blow up the entire stage shrine. How do you think how do you think they rebuilt the bridge? I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if it was canon. Yeah, you know, all of a sudden he happened to get all this stuff. Seriously, why okay. Magic does exist in this universe, as evidenced by all this shit. Why do I not have magic? Because maybe wanderers like he's an archer. Huh? Yeah. He's an archer. Yeah, and also maybe his clan does like forbids magic. I don't know. The elder certainly practices magic. Well, elders in most clans, elders always have that one little distinct property that makes them better than everyone else. Yeah, that's all this the elder. Then there's always the hero that, well, in this case, fuck up that likes to do things the wrong way. Yeah. <laughs> this whole uh, series of events is probably one big misunderstanding. Just a little bit. Okay, so apparently I found another grove of fruit. I'm about to go to it and uh, fuck around with over there for about two minutes, and that'll be the rest of the party. Hey, look, the bridge. Yeah, get a good look at that. Because we're not going to see it for uh, for another few parts. Yep. And then... Well... Ah, fuck it. They blow it up at the end. Kaboom! Told you this was the Forbidden Land. Well, I think they kind of figured out that the bridge is going to be gone because I did mention they had to build it. Idea for, uh, oh, right, yeah. Well, uh, in case people weren't listening and they decided to fast forward to the end trying to see if something actually happened. Mm. Makes sense. Okay, so I dropped three pieces of fruit. Watch this. One, two, damn it, get it, two, I didn't even touch it. And where the hell's the third one? Oh, ain't this some shit. So I actually look for the third one for like the rest of the part. Cause I, I'm like, it's right around here. Where the fuck is it? God damn it, Scruffy! <laughs> I wasn't even thinking about Scruffy at the time. I was like, just stupid me. What the hell? Why didn't I just go get the fruit when I drop it? Like, well, maybe there's still more. I, I, I don't know. You know to, don't be afraid to check the smaller trees. They have fruit, too. Very rarely, though. Yeah. There's, like, a, pretty much an infinite number of fruit that you can get. You don't have to get every, uh, every piece of fruit. Yeah, but there is a maximum. 